Hello everyone. In this segment we're going to look at two pieces of, of beautiful pottery from Zia Pueblo that we can pretty safely attribute to um, an early 20th century wonderful potter named Harviano uh, Toribio. So I'm going to show you both of these pieces of pottery and point out some, some similarities. Um, this particular piece of pottery is rather notorious. Um, there's a famous picture that you can find in uh, Harlow and Landman's wonderful book on the pottery of Zia Pueblo showing Harviano Toribio with this piece of pottery in the foreground. This pot piece of pottery has a, a wonderful personal story for me. Uh, one of my, we call them pickers, people who know where things are, called me up and told me that he had an old friend returning and brought this wonderful piece of four color pottery by Harviana that was in my personal collection in the 1990s and I hadn't seen it since. I had sold it to uh, a well-known, uh, wonderful historical character named uh, uh, Dick Howard uh, many years ago and had lost track of it. Uh, and here it is again. Several things for us to, to see in these two very beautiful pieces of pottery. Um, one is their sizes, their forms, similar. The thickness of the pieces of, of pottery, and these are, these are potted in a rather thick way. Um, also, very, very similar, indicative of a similar hand of, of a potter. A couple of other areas of, of similarity for Harviana. She had a tendency to use some verticality to separate design fields. She did it uh, a, a little bit more abstractly here, um, a little bit more, shall we say, tightly here. There's then a separation in the design fields, and in this case, in both these cases, stair-step devices, kiva-step-like devices, um, kiva-step slash capped feather devices um, in this particular jar. In both cases, the reds are very rich, thickly painted. Um, the yellows in this example, uh, a, a little brighter, uh, a little more vivid than in this one, but Harviana was one of the originators of the use of, of yellow paint on pottery at, at Zia. The animals, in this case a beautiful um, Zia Roadrunner, and in this case uh, a flying bird. Uh, another interesting thing to look at in these two pieces of pottery is they're, they're a window to the evolution and, and changes occurring in regards to the ceramic arts at Zia. Same potter, very close period of time, but this particular piece of pottery had a lot of home use. You can see the rimware from a ladle. Um, there's rimware around the top as well. Um, this is water use as well as ladle wear. This is a utilitarian piece of pottery. Very little wear on this piece, which seems to have been, especially if we look at the picture of Harvey on posed with a lot of pottery, a piece created for the art market. So in a very short period of time, we see what's beginning to be a transition of pottery for home use by a wonderful artist, same artist creating pottery for the art market. Two wonderful pieces of pottery from the first part of the 20th century by Harviana Toribio, Zia Pueblo.